Hey boys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Sean Johnson career mode. We're up to round seven. Uh, taking on the Cowboys in this first first game here. They're they're actually out of the top eight. Where we're just around that top four spot. Where we're fifth at the moment. So it'd be definitely nice to finish in the top the top four. It'd give us the best opportunity to uh you know to win the premiership. But the Cowboys, you know, they're out of the top eight, but they have a very very strong side. So it's going to be a tough game, um, and it is wet conditions. It's, it's pouring down rain. Absolutely uh, just terrible, terrible stuff, especially for a team like us who uh, uh, doesn't like the wet weather. Well, I guess it's funny I say that because Warriors play in wet weather all the damn time, but I'm sure the Warriors would like to play in nice dry conditions, but it shows right there. Um, might have been Bannering who tried a, a bit of a silly offload, you guess, in these conditions, and... It's pretty much going to cost us straight away from that. So Justin O'Neill just scoots out dummy half down the blind side. Who was that? Is that big Manu Vatavai? He's just uh, trampled over the top. He's dragged Vatavai into the end goal and scored. I don't know how, how realistic that is, but um, I guess he uh, he did it. So that's that's fine, I guess. But nice little play here down the down the short side there. Setting up. It's either Mannering or Hoffman. It must be Mannering. Looks like Mannering. And then big Vatavai just open pasture. Nathan Friend goes down the blind side. Sneaky little play right there. So we've got a chance to hit back straight away. Be nice to nice to do so. And we get the ball back here to... Looks like Tompkins. So last tackle here. And we... <laughs> ridiculous long pass. So I did not... I didn't do this. So this is another one of those times where just randomly your player will just throw... Just pass the ball. I don't have pass coming enabled, but it just happens sometimes. And that right there, you know, I was just going to kick the ball. He throws a massive cutout pass to the winger. <clears throat> and I score. Well, he scores. So, I mean, it, it worked out in our favor that time. It was a bit ridiculous, but, I mean, we'll take it. <laughs> We've been screwed over a bit, a fair bit this uh, this series. So, it's nice to get something back. But who is this? Maybe Kane Lynette? I'm not sure. But he just, like, barged through about three plays. That was absolutely ridiculous. And then Corey Ross... Uh, I was, going to say, I was going to say Corey Ross Jason. Uh, it's, no, it's uh, Rory Cost Jason. Um, just scoots out dummy half. Just evades a couple of guys. And a nice little off the right foot. And easy try. Like, Cost Jason definitely doesn't have that agility in real life. But he did right there. And then right here, beautiful play by Johnson. Sets up the outside men. I think that is Hoffman this time. And I can't believe he didn't score. That was such a nice play from us. Uh, it was It was beautiful. But the Cowboys here, a couple of minutes to go, they throw a long ball out to Thurston and we put a bit of pressure on him and he drops it into the player like it's a pretty bit of a hospital past that. And just nice play here off the scrum. We go to the blind side, big Manu Vatavai, pretty unstoppable, one-on-one. -on -one. They don't even make contact. I think it's Winterstein out there. Actually not a bad matchup, Winterstein and Vatavai. Obviously Vatavai has a fair bit of size on Winterstein, but Winterstein's no, no slouch. He's a big boy and very strong, so... Pretty good contest, but as you see, half time, 12 all, and it's not going to start off too great. We do make an error, and Robert Louis just does the exact same thing as Cost Jason did in the first half. And who is it? I think it's Chad Townsend who's been done twice now. They uh, it seems to switch around. It's either Lola here or Chad uh, Townsend. Pretty much, just uh, every week they switch around, so it's a bit frustrating. But this is just beautiful play. We just set up. I think it was Carter out there in the centers, and then he went straight through the hole. We were backing up, and just easy. So easy, just through the gap. Draws and passes the fullback. Just perfect timing for the call of the pass there. And Thurston was chasing, but he didn't have the legs to catch Johnson. And we we hit back once again. So the Cowboys, they keep they keep making this, uh, this, this break, but we keep hitting back. And right there, just a nice little play. It was a couple of guys doing angle runs, and it was a bit of a wraparound, but... You know, nothing really happened, but it just looked cool. And the fullback, for some reason, uh, came up for it. So we put in an early kick, had them on the back foot. And pretty good kick chase. I mean, first tackle in the 30-meter line, not too bad. And as you see, it was a good defensive set. And we're starting this, well, finishing this set off strongly. We're actually going for the field goal. A few, well, six minutes left. That time definitely runs down quickly in these 10-minute games. So you got to take the opportunities when they arise. And... So now we up by one point, and thankfully for us, off the kickoff, we actually got a penalty, so we pretty much got this game wrapped up, unless we do something silly, 
And uh, we potentially do do that <laughs> as we throw up a few offloads. The Cowboys come up with it, but that is the last play of the game. We get away with it. It was a very tight game back and forth. It was actually pretty exciting playing it. And the second game, another Queensland team, the Gold Coast Titans, who once again are outside the top eight. So the Queensland teams aren't doing too well in this career mode. But I know the Titans, they're, they're a strong side. In the game, they actually are a pretty strong, pretty strong squad. Um, obviously, I did a career mode with them. But yeah, they just got good plays. You know, Hoffman, Mead, um, their centers. Oh, they're bad centers. I don't know where the hell... <laughs> Devin Crampton and uh, Licky Licky, not the best. I don't know why the hell they don't have Roberts or um, Zillman or... James Robinson's on the bench, okay? So this is a game we probably should win, but they're still going to be tough. And as you see, it's a beautiful... Absolutely beautiful, clear day. I mean, this is what I like about this game. I mean, I love these clear days. Look how nice the game looks. Like, I know, like, the player likenesses, people might say, aren't the best. But the overall graphics, the aesthetics of the game look really good, in my opinion. Like, the... Yeah, maybe the crowd doesn't look amazing, but... Oh, but we got to talk about that. So, we come up there and put a high shot on. And that's, that's a bit of trouble. That was a pretty bad hit by Johnston, so... That's definitely going to result in a couple of weeks. Uh, just depends on if we fight it or what happens there. So that was a little funny. I don't think I've ever... That's the first time I've ever done a high shot in this game, which is hilarious. And it's happened in the Johnson career mode. So we'll see what happens. I actually know what happens. It's a, a pretty controversial, some might say. But you guys will find out at the end of the video. As a Hoffman. Hoffman. He did a couple of good things this set. We, we kicked the ball long. It was actually a nice kick, but Hoffman made really good ground. Off the kick return, and he's one of the good players in this game. I like Hoffman in real life. He's one of my favorite players. Um, he should be playing at fullback this year for the Titans, but obviously Zillman has got the the nod ahead of him. I don't know why. Zillman's a decent player, but Hoffman's a... Uh, I like Hoffman a lot. I don't know why he's not the number one fullback. But yeah, he just got an easy try down the down the blind side. And then half time here, Matty Sharma goes straight through the middle. And thankfully, we were covering there, because I don't think uh, friend or... The lock was going to catch him, so... Yeah, we're going in at 6-0 six, uh, six down. So, it didn't start off too well. And right here was very annoying, because we were going for the ball, and he passed it to the center, who put in... It was actually not a bad kick, so I can't be too too disappointed. But as I was saying about the game, I think it looks so good. Like, the grass, uh, the lighting looks amazing. And just, I don't know, I think the game looks outstanding, especially in these daytime conditions. But this right here, this is a nice try. It was set up by us. We actually set it up originally, but for some reason, the center threw it back into the middle. But thankfully, the ball went out to the winger. We were backing up once again. Just uh, We're setting up the line breaks, but then also supporting up the middle. And with Johnson's speed, it, it's uh, pretty much pretty much see you later if I get into the backfield. And good stuff right there. And right here, we're wrapping around here. Beautiful long ball out to the center again. He's having a bit of a field day. Hoffman, though, very good. Comes up with another... I guess you say try saving, you know, it was a bit of a two on one, but he made the right decision to to come up there. And then 12 minutes to go, you know, I decided to take an early field goal. It wasn't a very good attempt. It, it went off to the left hand side there. So not the best, but Ben Madalino, once again, he is like the go to man just running off my right shoulder. He just always makes that first, the first defender miss, which is very, very nice for us. And we were going to have a shot right there at the field goal, but there was time to go for one more little play. And we actually don't need to go for the field goal. Hey, they're holding the tackle, and the ref actually gives a penalty a couple of minutes to go. So all we have to do is slot this one. Should be a pretty easy kick. There is a bit of wind. But we actually we uh, time it absolutely terrible. But thankfully, it, it still goes through the middle. So we got a bit lucky there. And at 80 minutes time, we decided to have a bit of a shot down the blind side. Almost set up our our player, but 8-6, uh, pretty, you know, a good little episode, we got both wins up, but tight games, very tight games against the Queensland Queensland sides, and as you see, Johnson has been charged with a grade 2 careless high tackle, a two-match penalty, um, so I didn't know what I was going to do, but as you see, there's really no downside to actually disputing the charge, I mean, we might get one extra match, but there's a potential to not miss any, so that's what we do, and we get cleared, and... You guys are going to find out next video, the next Johnson video. It's so lucky that we got off for this game because there's a big game coming up next video. And it's hilarious that this worked out like this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and look forward to the next one.